deadlifts not a good day completely failed today's workout and you'll see that later on in the video now it's not that uncommon for me to feel the deadlifts in this day or either the week before usually one of these days i feel the lift i never have a full week of getting full through everything perfectly but as long as the next week goes well then you can keep continuing if it doesn't then you need to put the weights back so obviously you can see the lower back is probably the main problem today it's just given out so obviously there's been a lot of stress a lot of overuse on it so it needs to really recover well for next week so here we are 100 kg and this felt really hard and i'm not gonna lie usually 100 kg is easy but I was really struggling to lift this today and some pain in my shin as well today so probably didn't help as well. Also from looking at this I really need to focus on keeping that arm straight. I think it might be affecting some things because that's just a bit dangerous having that arm bent. really need to focus on keeping that straight to keep my biceps safe and keep even tension throughout the lift. So here's the first set, 117.5 for 5 reps and I had to keep switching my grip, it was just done, there was no way I can hold on after each rep, so obviously I switched the grip to be able to try to push through it, so you've got to find ways to try to push through, probably should have went and got some straps after this because of how hard this one felt. I also should have got my belt out as well. So here's 134.5 kilograms and as you can see that back just gone. So here's 152 kg where I failed my deadlifts. Obviously I actually skipped over a lift there in the recording but here we go and you'll see how it just completely fails after the second rep. Or the first rep. So here I am trying that second rep out and just couldn't get it. So I had to reset and try to collect myself. This was meant to be five reps as well. It shows you how bad my back and fatigue was that I couldn't get this done. Couldn't get two reps in a row. So that's not good at all. But at least I tried to grind out another rep and I got that one, which is something. As long as next week goes okay, I can keep going up and wait. So I decided to add more pause deadlifts in after because I failed. So I did nine pause reps, double pause reps, so 18 pause reps in total for this one set, which is a lot of volume if you're thinking about how many pauses are done in one set. And I did two sets of this, then do three, just two, and then I moved on to RDLs after. So 12 reps each leg, RDLs, two sets. Really pushing the reps now more. Usually you went from when I first started this, six reps. But we've worked up the got 12, obviously partials as well, but they still count as reps. You don't just count your full reps. These are RDLs so you don't lock out fully and you don't fully go down. I want to keep the tension on the muscle. If you have any tips about RDLs make sure to comment them down below. Maybe it'll help me out. Maybe I need to try to go up on something. Try to get a bit of a deeper stretch even. Because I don't want to hit the ground because it completely throws me off the lift. And then takes the tension out of the lift. So I either need to step up on something or try to figure another way out. Then we ended off with some deadlifts, just the light sets this week. Eight reps, two sets. Easy enough, there's nothing to complain about today's dead bench press workout. So peace out and check this next video out.